Alright, so phase shift is the last transformation. There's only those four. So amplitude, um, um, vertical shift, period, and phase shift are the only transformations that are happening. So here, once we finish this, then we're done. That's all the transformations. There's nothing, no uh, other transformations to do. So the um, horizontal uh, transformation is one of those things that we're dealing with now. The phase shift, horizontal trans, um, the horizontal shift. So we did up and down. We they shrink and expand, and we talked about um, doing all the other stuff. Like we're going to talk about flipping later on, but here we talk about the phase shift. And this is our horizontal shift. It's our horizontal shift. And the definition is, this is how the graph moves left to right. Right. There you go. Now with this, we're going to pull up the same formula again, or same um, way we've been writing it. Right, so we've been we've already talked about the A, which is amplitude. We've already talked about H, which is the vertical shift. And we've talked about K already. Now, when it comes to this part, the only thing that's left is C. Now, to find our phase shift, we're going to use K and C together. But to know what direction you're moving in, all you have to do is look at C and do what we did before. We said that if it was positive on the inside, it went one direction. If it was negative on the inside, we went to um, the opposite direction. And it was opposite of what you thought. So C does the same thing. All right, so C tells the direction. But just like the other transformations we talked about, it goes opposite of what you think. So it goes opposite of what you think. So if it's a positive C, it goes left. If it's a negative C, it goes right. So it goes opposite of what you would really think about on a number line. So here again, that's how it works. So the C tells the direction, but the phase shift tells how far to go. And I'm going to abbreviate that as PS. That's phase shift. It tells how far to go. how far to move. All right now to find phase shift we have one last formula and I know yeah there's another thing I'm sorry but this is only way that you can find phase shift that I, that I know of. Phase shift is negative C over K. This is how to find phase shift. That is how we need to find our phase shift. Now with it again, you can look at C, look at K, and you just put it together and be able to figure out like how far to go. But again, it goes, the C tells you what direction you should go. So here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the, um, the, an example here just to talk about finding the phase shift and figure out what direction to move. That's all. Alright, so let's go to example six here. And we're going to figure out what our, how to find phase shift. And that's it.
going to use this equation. Y equals negative 5 cosine 1 half theta plus 4 pi. So here, all we're trying to do is find out what is the phase shift. That's it. Just phase shift. Not trying to figure out anything else. Not trying to go in depth, find a period and all the good stuff. Just phase shift. So again, phase shift is negative c over k. And we said that the direction is going to, that, um, that c tells us what direction we're going to go into. So first off, let's figure out what c is and what k is. Okay, so we talked about the whole thing about c and k here. We know k is what's in front of theta or in front of x. We know c is back there inside the parentheses still. So if we look here, what is, where is our k first off? Right, k is 1 half. That's right in front of theta. Okay, so then what is c? 4 pi. Okay, so at this point, let's take a look at C and see if we know what direction we're moving in first, and then we'll find a phase shift to see how far we need to move in that direction. Okay, so we said if C is positive, it goes left. If C is negative, it goes right. So just like we did when it came to our regular transformations, that part doesn't change. So since this is a positive C, it's just go left or right. It goes left. So this graph, or this function, is going to move left. Okay, and then again, the phase shift is going to tell us how far left. So here, let's do phase shift. For those that don't like keep, change, flip, a lot of, it comes up a lot, so make sure you remember how to do it. You can't just be like, whoa, I'm confused, I'm lost, I don't know how to do it. You're going to have to know how to because it's coming up a lot very shortly. So here negative c, so it's a negative already there that we, they gave you. So negative always is there. And then we have 4 pi for c over k which is 1 half. Okay so again you need to, need to do keep change flip. And keep the 4 pi change multiplication, uh, division to multiplication, and then we flip one half, so that's two over one. So again, keep the negative, keep the top part negative four pi, keep it, change division to multiplication, and then we flip that bottom part. And we know what's understood, a one underneath here, so multiply straight across and we should be able to get an answer for phase shift. So negative 4 and positive 2, when you multiply them, it gives you a negative 8. And we keep the pi. Then there's 1 on the bottom. And with it, we know 1 on the bottom just stays there. So it's going to keep 1. And so our final answer is just negative 8 pi. And that's our phase shift. So the C tells us what direction to move. The phase shift here tells us how far to move. And that's it. That's all we got to do.